Another day, another alignment just to fix my mistakes, I guess. I couldn't wait to mess with the suspension, so I just did it. And now I have to drive there with an eye alignment. I mean, in the last video, you guys saw how I drove it. It's kind of fine, I think. Let's see how it goes. Shout out Elite Performance for doing my alignment. I know it's uh, kind of difficult because it's low, but they always do a good job. Let's do the first drive. Um, I wonder how it feels. Oh my God. Oh God. Ooh, it feels solid. I love it. Oh my. Also, when I saw it rolling outside, when she test drove it, it looked so low. I'm pretty happy. Not double digit camber, but basically there. Even if you think you did a good job with your eye alignment, I think you should do, like get a real alignment. This will definitely save my tires for sure. I'll tell you how it goes. Going home. Okay, it's pretty windy, but let's take a let's take some time to get off of my car and onto others. Since this is the way I'm gonna be trying to make money instead of a regular day job. I might as well show you guys the process. I'm trying a different method today. It's with clear coats. I got everything sanded, I'm about to mask everything off. Um yeah, it's pretty easy so far. Pretty sure this is gonna be overspray, but this is Civic and I don't really care. I'm gonna start going this way and then that way. First coat, it definitely, the wind effects is so bad that I'm pretty sure overspray got on it. Already from the first coat, you could tell it's a lot cleaner. Second coat should be better. I think that's all to be honest. I'll wait a little for it to dry. It looks good right now. I heard it gets like harder and less orange peel as it dries. 